Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing well today. I made a video earlier and botched two dates, so I'm redoing my video, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Had some heat issues the last two days, you know, because the uh, places don't treat truck drivers like we're humans anymore. Anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about the dust storm. It's supposed to be hitting Northwest Arkansas today. It's supposed to come in this afternoon. Uh, they're saying anybody with asthma problems or breathing problems should probably stay indoors for the next day or two. Um, that's my granddaughter. She's doing the news with me today. Um, we also have an island that has appeared on the coast of Mexico after the earthquake that happened a couple of days ago. Now, the date today is June 25th, 2020, if anybody's curious. And now we have an island called Mirado that has popped up. Um, quite a few people keep an eye on that, and this is brand new. Now, the Mirado name comes from the Mayan days. And the Mayans built a huge city. It's beautiful when you look at it. They've got pictures of it. And it was out in the jungle. Uh, it was done before Christ was even a Christ thing. So it was done before Christ. Anyways, um, you can look that up on Google Earth 2.0 and see Mirado. It's in between Guatemala and Mexico and it looked like it was to the east of where the earthquake hit. If you guys are curious to look that up. I find that interesting in the times that we're in. Also, it was validated again by a news channel called Israeli News that top officials are behind closed doors talking about Planet X, Nemesis, Nibiru, whatever you want to call it. And they're talking about you're going to be able to see it in September of 2020. It's got a very long tail and has a lot of debris. Um, they're saying if you can't see it in September, you definitely will be able to see it in spring, which I find that interesting considering the great sign in heaven was September 23rd, 2017. And if we look into Revelations, we know that we had three and a half years of good and we're going to have three and a half years of terrible. So. Nemesis has a long tail, a lot of debris. We've had a lot of meteors and asteroids come close to Earth. We've had a lot of them actually coming in the atmosphere. Um, Israel, Australia, Russia, they're all talking about it. They're, you know, we've seen videos and pictures of it. Um, somebody sent me something yesterday and it was about the military's not going to no longer take people who have been tested positive for the corn hodio. That is interesting because when I read the article then it said if you tested twice positive for the Cornholio then you will not be able to enter the military I don't know how that's gonna work for them I don't know how that's gonna come out but I wanted to share all this stuff with you guys keep you in the loop with some stuff I'm interested in if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below also guys you need to get a water filtration system that doesn't need electricity you have to do it I do have a distiller home that we use every day, but it needs electricity. If there is an EMP hit, which that's been in the talks a lot, and for years, you know, a lot of us were aware of it. If there's an EMP hit, you will not have any water filtration systems running if they run on electricity. You guys need to think about that. I'm gonna get a picture today when me and Kinsley get home, and uh, I'm gonna give you guys a picture of what I bought. It was $35, it's 99.9% .9 of bacterias, chlorine and fluoride out of your water. Um, it was only 35 bucks, guys. You guys can do that. At least get one. But if you have a family like mine, I got two. Um, take care of yourselves. The white sun is so hot. I don't remember the yellow sun being this hot, do you? The white sun is so hot and it seems so uh, much more penetrating as far as the heat goes. So, you know, water's not always the best thing to do. As a detox specialist, I always tell you coconut water, get your hydration from your fruits because they have electrolytes. Do not go to Gatorades. They are high in acidity. Um, you want to try to keep your body at a 7.4, which is absolutely close to impossible these days, but that's the closest you want to be is, you know, alkaline as a balance for the human body. Um, that's it. You want to say anything, honey? No. You sure? Do you have any news for everybody? The virus is dumb. The virus is dumb. Right, but guess what? The second wave might not be so dumb. 
Also, you guys might want to look into the GMO mosquitoes. Yeah. The virus is not real. It's already inside of us. There you go. That's my seven-year-old granddaughter. But this one might be a little different, but they might still give it the same name. You know what I'm saying? Check into those mosquitoes and research these masks because big controversy on masks that, you know, a lot of people are saying mandatory masks. I say I'm an individual sovereign human being and I'm not gonna wear the masks. Now, if people are going to say I can't go into their places of business, I just won't, I won't spend my money there because I have rights and you guys need to take your rights. I didn't buy into the mask, I don't buy into the mask. They don't protect you and they don't protect others and your handkerchiefs and underwear and shirts you're making into masks, <laughs> they don't work. Anyways, let's say goodbye to everybody. Let's wish everybody the greatest weekend. Bye. Bye guys, have a great weekend.